Hi folks, it's Dr. Kathy Dooley of Immaculate Dissection. We are here on day 106 out of 365 of our push-up challenge, which means I have to do 106 push-ups today. As I've noticed, uh, when my push-ups get a little bit more fatiguing towards some of those end numbers or towards the end range of my set, I notice that I start to chicken neck things and I wanna drop my neck down and let my shoulder blades sink. So that's our tip of the day. We're gonna work on not sinking and, and trying to drop our necks and keeping the back of our head connected to uh, the top, what we call the CT junction, where the neck kind of meets the mid back. So imagine that your head is pushing into your hands, right? So you're not letting the head drop forward. We don't want to chicken neck our push-up and allow for that, that neck to drop forward. What this looks like in the push-up is that people will start to get into position and as they drop down, they'll start to lead with their neck down. And that can put a ton of strain on the neck, also puts a lot of strain on the shoulders and wrists. So what we want to do is push away, spread the shoulder blades apart and keep the back of our head connected. So if you need to elevate your push-up, do it. Who cares? It's fine. You don't have to do it from the floor. But whatever position you're starting in, make sure you keep your neck long and your chin tucked, your chest wide and your ribs down. You're keeping that tripod of stability into your hands like you've seen in other videos from us. And you're kind of pushing through those heels. Instead of letting yourself sink, you want to really spread the shoulder blades apart as long as possible and then power your way back up. And that'll prevent you from chicken necking your push up. If you can't do this from the floor, then don't do it from the floor. Elevate your surface. It's totally okay. All right. Stay tuned for future push up tips. We have a lot of days left in the year. We're going to give you a ton, but try to implement this new push up tip to strengthen your push up and make it safer. Dr. Kathy Dooley, see you next time.